We have a negative tide this morning. I need to stay in the channel so I don't get stuck. Only three feet right now. If I get off to the side, I'll just get stuck right away. What's going on everyone? Well, thanks for checking out another one of my videos. So I'm out here today, San Francisco Bay. Currently, we're going out the Golden Gate Bridge today, going out for some salmon. I haven't been out the Golden Gate all season yet. I don't think all year. So I'm really excited for this today. Got my good old trusty deckhand captain with me, Chris. So you got Chris and Chris, go out there and get those salmon today. So swell is five feet at eight seconds. Not very good. We have a little bit of wind here. Going out the Golden Gate Bridge, you can get choppy, but we're at slack tide, so that's ideal. Always good to look for that. And uh, yeah, once we got to the fishing grounds, it should be like no wind. So should be good conditions out there. Let's drive out. I got smaller anchovies this is the five and a quarter it's happy to find these in the stores got six packs we brought two out with me today I like the smaller ones I feel like a little better presentation and I think maybe uh, less missed bites you know a little smaller you know fish for that salmon to grab the whole thing and get hooked so we're in the fishing grounds try this spot out getting some good bait on the fish finder it's what you're always looking for when you're salmon fishing got some boats in the area we can see if their nets drop down there we go. We're gonna start off my line today with the underwater camera. The normal setup here, this chartreuse flasher and that crippled anchovy. So it's 6.55 right now. We launched at five. It takes a long time to get out of here when you gotta go slow in the bay and once you get out in the ocean. So over an hour for sure of driving. Uh, lines are set now, we're fishing. Have I told you guys the plan yet today? We're going for small salmon, okay? I want like the smallest you can get that's just barely legal. All right, maybe a little reverse psychology trick the salmon gods. Small ones today, small ones, okay? You guys get it? All right, let's see what we get. Oh man, the disappointment when you get home and look at the underwater camera footage and it's just all pitch black. Everything, just darkness, nothing to see. At least we didn't have any exciting action that happened. There was two scratch bait, so it would be interesting to see what bit it. Well, it's just checking the lines after, I don't know, 15 minutes of fishing. We got bit. Enough water clarity down there to see that bite with the underwater cam. Hopefully. Well, I guess that's encouraging. Bring it up a second time and the bait's gone again? What the heck's going on? thought with these smaller baits these fish would just bite it and get hooked <laughs> I guess that theory did not work out well tough go at it to start uh, conditions are a lot choppier than we thought they would be so Chris is having to work a lot harder up here on the steering you know the wind waves just keep throwing the boat it's hard to keep the line straight um, and then we just keep losing our bait I don't know I, I saw a, a croaker on Chris's line at one point so maybe that's what's taking our bait constantly, but yeah, it just seems hard to get the bait in the water fishing. Well, uh, probably been an hour and a half of fishing now, waiting for that first fish. Hopefully we can get one soon. Well, 
feels good to get one in the boat 24 inches you know small that's what i wanted today so i'm happy to get that one um so it's 9 15 right now really slow by all morning and we've just started to see a few fish getting caught here or there really good sign uh we're a little farther out like 80 85 feet of water now we started about 60. uh we're finding some more bait now so things are looking up waiting to get another small one here soon all right we'll find another salmon No. Man. Uh, well, a shaker, so two fish now today. Man, small ones. What am I complaining about? That's what we wanted today, right? So, uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. These guys got one next to us. The Lund. My, like my old boat. All right, let's root the Lund on. But yeah, I don't know. 10.30 now. We need another keeper. Another fish, but feels small. Maybe keeper. Looks like a keeper, small keeper. So I've talked about it before. When you're trolling, you wanna try bringing the fish on the side you caught it on. You turn the boat a little bit that side, but sometimes the fish runs the other way. When that's the case, you have no choice but bring it on the other side. When the fish is smaller like this, I'll just tighten the drag a little bit and just muscle it in. Tighten the drag a little bit. Lifting up. All right, decent. A little fatty like yours kinda. All right. Yeah. This thing's loaded with chovies. Dude, look at all these. Oh wow. Just just gorging on them. Yep. Look at all that. 23. All right guys, so we're getting to 12 o'clock now. It's a slack tide. So it's gonna be a really good chance to go in under the Golden Gate Bridge. It's a nasty day out here today. South swells, south winds, it's all kind of bad and choppy. So, we got what I asked for, small ones. There they are. I mean, they are beautiful fish. They will eat really well. Um, yeah, that reverse psychology, ask for small ones. Maybe big ones will come. Didn't happen, but hey, keep watching guys. Stay tuned, we're gonna get a really big one soon. It's just bound to happen, putting in this time. Um, yeah, I'm posting this video anyway, so you guys can see what it's like out here. Don't always get what you want. Some days are tough to catch them, like today. No one's catching, we're following party boats. Nets are not going down, radio's quiet, no one's getting them. Of course, when I go out, the big ones aren't here. But hey, hope you guys liked the video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.